Hello everyone, and welcome to the new year. I'm your host, Archie Fatality, as always. And today, I want to talk about what I got planned this year. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I know yesterday, um, some people may have saw I wanted to do a bunch of live streams yesterday on New Year's Eve, but I couldn't because I, I, I died. As soon as I got home from work, I died. And then I didn't, I seriously didn't get up till 1238. I slept the whole year away. Ain't that something? Anywho, you know that old saying, new year, new me, right? No, fuck that. Ain't nothing gonna be changed. Ain't nothing be different. So, only thing I got to say right now is, um, what I got planned, I mainly got my Mugen plant this year. I plan on releasing a lot of stuff. This year is the year of release. So much of my work is done. You know, a lot of my work been done for the longest, says my Sensei Ryan at least. And they're just not done to my liking at least. I want to do more, but you know, I've been working on Mugen for like five, six years now. I, I don't know how long I started, but I've been game designing with Mugen for a long time. I only released like four things in probably one stage maybe. And I have over a hundred characters in my on my little headquarters on my bank as I call it. And I don't know how many freaking stages and I haven't released nothing. So this year I definitely plan to release more Mugen. Focus more on Mugen than my gaming. The gaming is easy. I have a lot of gaming clips I just need to edit and upload. But Mugen I gotta record all types of stuff. I gotta do this and that. Anywho, let's get right back to business. So this month of January, what I planned on releasing was um this guy named Lon, as you can see here in the video. I plan he's from the game called Power Quest. I never played Power Quest, but my sensei Ryan has, like I think he did, or I guess. And he made a bunch of Power Quest characters. And he was like, hey man, you should get in on it. I'm like, alright, why not? And I decided to make this guy because he looked the coolest to me. So, if anybody have no idea what Power Quest is, go ahead and start off with Mugen. Because I can't give you a whole freaking thing about what Power Quest is. I don't know nothing about it. The only thing that I know is the gameplay and how everybody fights. Because I just watched Sensei Ryan play it. And if you guys want to check out his characters, his characters will be in a link in the description. And um, I'm also going to upload long probably a week later or maybe even this week whenever I get the time to upload him because he's done. There's nothing more I need to do to him. His basic style, he's a basic character. He's not super all fancy with crazy effects and crazy this and that. Although I probably might update him later on down the line and make him all extra crazy and stuff. But now nah, he's just a basic character. Just somebody to get you, get people started, you know, with my type of characters what I make. But, this is only the tip of the icebergs. Next uh, character I plan on releasing this month is Matthew Patel from the League of uh, Evil Lexus, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I've been working on a 7 Evil Lexus for, I don't know, probably a year now. And the only reason they haven't been released is all my fault, because I've been lazy and they need special effects and voices. I don't like releasing new characters. I love characters with a voice or something. And I hate mute characters, they need to have some type of voice. Now I was thinking about voicing Matthew myself, but Matthew isn't black. Matthew's Indian. And I cannot do no Indian accent. I'm not even gonna try to do the Indian accent. Fuck that. I would make my <laughs> I would make Sensei Ryan voice him, but uh Sensei Ryan has had a let's just say a history with voicing characters. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Double dragon strength. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, Matthew again is a basic style character. He's not that hard to play with. I'm going to sh uh, upload a video of him explaining just exactly what he can do. So y'all can see a video exactly what he does, how to play with him before you download him and everything. So, yeah. And as for the other Evil Lexes, the rest of them, um, I plan on releasing at least one of them by the month. I, I want to release them. That would be great if I can release them all this month. But um, they say I got to perfect them. I want my characters to be stupid Omega perfect. And the reason I'm such a perfection, uh, perfectionist with my characters is because most of the characters I have released, like far as full characters or beta characters, 
they get mixed reviews. Some get good, some get bad, but mainly it's mixed. And the reviews they get that they say that's bad, like, oh, this thing does this or this thing does that, it's an easy fix. I'm like, how the hell did I overlook that? Like, my most reviewed character was Shizu Heiwajima, which I think was the last character I actually released from Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. And, um, and uh, he, he got some mixed reviews, but... So most of them was good, but a couple of them was bad. There's actually a video. Somebody actually made a video uh, talking shit about my character. I was I was surprised. I wanted to I wanted to go on the video and be like fuck you, man. But I'm like, hey, you're giving me publicity. You made a whole video about my character, so thank you. So I didn't go and go all ape shit crazy. My point being is, I really want these characters to be top notch. Every one of them, every character I make, I want them to be stupid omega good. Because it's saving up for the big finale, which is Killer Combat. Killer Combat is my knight in shiny armor, my bread and butter, my go-to thing, the god of gods, the thing that makes me Ultra Fatality. And uh, like I said, I've been working on that game alone for four years now, since 2017. It's technically been four years, because I actually did start it in January. So, that's crazy. And um, last but not least, the next character who I plan on releasing this month is a character way back when, when I first started with Mugen, back when Gideon Graves was my very first character, and it's Altair. A lot of people don't know I was working on Altair, and um, I was working on him for a, a while, and I finished him rather quickly, but I, I burned out. I never got around to releasing him, because uh, back then, Sensei Ryan was a hard teacher. He was a douchebag. He used to talk so much shit about my character, and I hated him for it. I didn't like hate hate him, but uh, he used to piss me off a lot. So I'm like, I gotta make I gotta make this character blow him away. I used to make my characters just to impress Sensei Ryan. Then I said, fuck him, and look at me now. My characters are beasts. Me and Ryan are on good terms. He respects my characters and shit. Even though he talks to mess every now and then, he, I know he respects him. And um, yeah, and Altair, like I said, I've been finished Altair a long time. I just never got around to releasing him. All I'm doing now is uh, recoding him, give him better effects, make his move more solid and look more pretty. And that's about it. And I'm also gonna make a video on him so you guys can see what he does. Cause uh, yeah, he, he's pretty good, man. He's pretty badass in my opinion. Um, like I guess I'm gonna make a whole video devoted to what he can and can't do and blah, 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 so you can see how he is. Cause I don't got enough time to explain just exactly what he can do. So, oh, one extra special note I wanna uh, say to some other of my fans on Mugen. Dengeki back to Dengeki Buko Fighting Climax. The sprites for Dengeki Buko Fighting Climax Ignition characters have been ripped. And um, I, uh, I'm working on one of the characters right now. Stay tuned at the end of the video and you'll see who it is. Or like most people, I'm pretty sure you're just going to fast forward at the end of the video see who I'm working on. Because it's a surprise for certain people. Because I'm my Dengeki Buko hype has returned, uh, Sensei Ryan is doing the project, I'm not going to leak his stuff, but he's doing a project and involving that game, and he definitely inspired me to get back into the game, so, for all you people who've been waiting on my Tomoka, great fucking news, her sprites has been re-ripped for that game, and the effects work in 1.0, it works in Mugen 1.0, so now I can finally get back to working on her flawlessly, so after I release um, these characters, my Dengeki Boom Co. characters most likely might be next in line to be released probably in February or March. Maybe even this month if I'm able to work on it. But um, I think that's about it as far as my Muga thing. And um, now let's get to gaming. Gaming! I played a lot of games last year. And I'm not talking like last year like yesterday or something. I mean like the whole year. I never got to upload. So in the beginning, you guys may see some old titles up there, you know, like some real old uh, PS2 titles or freaking, you know, old games from 2016 that nobody really cares about, or maybe even older than that, but I still plan on uploading them because I think they're great. You guys might be entertained, you know, just to get them out there and everything because I recorded a lot of end of the year stuff, a lot of Christmas stuff. Oh, hang on guys, got another call, sorry about that.
All right, sorry about that, folks. I had to answer that call. But anyway, back to business. Uh, anywho, damn it, I lost my train of thought. Might have to put you guys on hold one more time. Shit. Damn it, what was I talking about? Ugh. I just remembered gaming. So anyway, like I said, I recorded a bunch of end of the year gameplay and Christmas gameplay from Overwatch, Mortal Kombat, Little Big Planet. Oh, I'm afraid to upload Little Big Planet. I see so many copyright issues on that. It shit's annoying. Watch Dogs. Oh my god, I got a lot of Watch Dogs 2 gameplay with my buddy Senpaku Fang. That shit's gonna be a blast to upload. Um, I got an upcoming uploads from Dying Light. You know, see, that's an old game right there. And I'm pretty sure the hype is going for it, but you know, I still a big fan of the game. I damn sh I just got the DLC on the Christmas sale for like 20 bucks. I got the full fledged game with all DLC on it, and I never played any of the DLC. And my god, best believe it's going to be some gameplay on that shit. Uh, Let It Die. I, uh, I definitely need to stream Let It Die because I've already got too deep in that game. When I first played it, I, did, I thought the game was going to be trash, though, honestly. It was a free game. I'm like, what the hell is Let It Die? I, I got it as soon as it dropped on the PSN. I'm like, what is this? And I played it and had a fucking blast with it. I am mad I didn't record the shit. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of games coming. A lot of gameplay videos coming. Lots of live streams, too. Also, another surprise for you guys. I have an Xbox. As you guys may know from last year. I've been signing all day from last year. I'm going to fucking find out how to upload my Xbox videos to YouTube without just live streaming them because it doesn't even allow you to live stream on YouTube from the Xbox. At least I haven't found out how. So if anybody knows how to do it, please God, tell me now because this shit's frustrating. I reopened my Twitch account because I had a Twitch account back then, but it got suspended for some reason. They, they told me somebody was trying to hack my account or kept trying to log in as me. And kept failing, and then eventually it was, it was bad for like a, a three months. I'm like, what the fuck? Basically, it got bad for some bullshit for like three months, and when I came back, it would not work worth shit. So I eventually just decided to reopen my Twitch account because uh, I ruined my password, and logged in, and all my videos were gone, and that's the main reason why I left Twitch. But you know. I'm probably going to be using Twitch a lot now because of my Xbox to record my Xbox gameplays. So basically, I'm going to be live streaming PS4 on YouTube and live streaming Xbox on Twitch. You know, get what I'm saying? You better get what I'm saying. Anywho, one more thing. Uh, as for Nintendo games, I don't know. I'm going through some little issues with some, you know, some personal issues in regards to getting you a Nintendo. But um, I'll try to get some Nintendo games because I wonder if Nintendo's still doing that thing where they try to charge you for uploading videos with their content and stuff. No, I'm pretty sure all the YouTubers know what I'm talking about or anybody who just stays in contact with media. They know what I'm talking about. Back then, Nintendo was talking about they're charging people for their content on YouTube and stuff. So I definitely still plan on uploading YouTube. I mean, <laughs> uploading Nintendo crap on YouTube. And one more thing about in regards to my gaming videos, old school games as far as PS2, PS3, GameCube, all that stuff. Sensei Riot has graciously decided to give me one of the most ultimate birthday slash Christmas gifts. And it's going to be a live streamer. Um, I forgot what they call it. You know, one of them little live streamer things you connect to a um, old school console. So you can live stream with an old school console or record a game capture, duh, game capture device. And it connects to the PS3, PS2, you know, anything with AVI cords. And I'm like, fuck, yes. Well, maybe not anything, I don't know. Freaking niggas, I'll put my damn Nintendo 64 back up and let's do this. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, that's going to be his Christmas gift slash birthday present to me. Because all you guys who keep up with me, my birthday is literally eight days. January 9th, baby. And my YouTube's anniversary is the day after January 10th so shit I gotta do a lot for this month January is my month and I gotta do a lot for this month so uh yeah I think that's about it for this video and uh since my uh 
uh, YouTube anniversary is coming up. This is going to be apparently my third year. I thought I was on YouTube for like a year now. This, I thought this was my second year. Apparently, I joined YouTube two years ago. Well, now three. I'm like, oh, shit. I've been on YouTube for like two years and only got 63 subscribers. Well, 60, I mean. I'm like, damn, I suck. But you know what? I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to uh, give up. And I'm going to keep trying. Because I see a lot of YouTubers that give up. When you don't get enough subscribers and views. It's, it's hard, man. It sucks, dude. You just got to advertise yourself more. That's why I'm about to... Uh, I'm about to make me a lot of social media accounts. Even though I hate the social media shit. I barely be on Facebook. Um, I hate Instagram. I think that's the most stupidest thing ever. I mean, I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Why are you taking a picture of everything you do? Hey, let me take a picture of a shit. And be like, hey, I'm in a bathroom taking a shit. Let me shut up going off on social media if I get started. Anywho, I definitely plan on probably making me a Twitter, maybe a stupid ass Instagram, because my buddy T Bone so has one and he says it helps him. And um, I don't know, whatever else I can think of. You know, I just got to get out there more. You know, 60 subscribers isn't enough for as long as I've been on YouTube. My buddy Games Master's been on YouTube for uh, probably about the same amount of time as me. But he got like six, 6,000 subscribers. I know that's a decent amount, but he got those subscribers in less than a year, man. He had, he, he joined YouTube and killed it. And till this day, I'm still jelly of him. Like, dog, good for you. I'm happy for you. But man, I wish I had your subscribers. But he don't get that many views, though. I really don't understand why. He got a lot of subscribers, not a lot of views. And he be getting disappointed about it himself, but oh well. I'm talking too much now. So, to end this video, let's recap like we always do. This year, it's mainly Mugen. Year of releases. And everybody who's a fan of my Mugen works, and you're watching this, if I fail to release whatever I say I'm going to release this year, beat the shit out of me if you have to. Find me. Curse me. Write my name in a death note. Well, don't do that, man. I'm just, you know. But, you know, shit. I, I need to start releasing stuff. I need to make good on my promises. I know I got a lot of shit going on in my life, but I got to learn to balance it more. As far as gaming, gaming is going to be the same. It's going to be great. I'm going to try to have more guests with me. You know, other YouTubers possibly. Maybe not big name YouTubers like Dashy. Man, that'd be beast of things, Dashy. But, you know, I still plan on doing a lot of collabs with up and comer YouTubers and mid-range YouTubers, whatever y'all want to call y'all type of YouTubers. And then, that's about it, man. And I plan on uploading a lot more viral videos, too. The reason I say a lot more, because most of the viral videos I make go to other people's channels. You know, I never made one for my own channels, always other people's channels. The last thing I did was uh, this thing my buddy Zenpaku fame really wanted to do called Living With Law. I did this video about like a year ago, I believe. And uh, it was just a little skit. He wanted to do like a reality version of One Piece, like what happens after One Piece or whatever. The One Piece characters living a modern day life. So yeah, we, we the project fell through because we don't have enough time to record, which sucks. But we did manage to upload just one single fucking episode, which I'll put in the description so you guys can check his channel out. Because he says he wants to get his YouTube back up and running, but we need to start uploading, you know. He doesn't have a laptop in all fairness, so I understand that he uses mine, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little selfish with my laptop. Got a lot of shit on here, uh, you know, got a lot of shit on here. Respect my privacy, you know. But anyway, I think that's about it, guys. So, once again, Happy New Year's. Welcome. And as always, I'm your host, Ultra Fatality. Stay Ultra Fatal. Peace.